SEP is short form for Zeppelin and is a resonant antenna and fed by a ladder line. The name comes from Zeppelin which was a type of rigid airship named after the German inventor Ferdinand von Zeppelin. Zeppelin antennas were wire antennas that could be trailed behind the Zeppelin airship. As they were trailed antennas, they were used in N-fed configuration. Double SEP is a center-fed half wavelength antenna. Double extended SEP antenna consists of two collinear 0.64 wavelength elements fed in phase. It has a gain of 3 dB over a dipole along the main lobe which is perpendicular to the direction of the elements. There are also side lobes along the direction of the elements which are not good enough to give significant gain. According to N6LF, main lobes have significant gain only for an angle of about 35 degrees. Double extended ZEP antenna can be considered as a 1.25 wavelength long wire fed at the center with an open wire transmission line and a tuner at the transmitter end. It has been recommended that coaxial cables are not the type of feeder to be used for a double extended ZEP antenna. Feed line impedance expected is 450 to 600 ohms and not the 50 ohms of the typical coax used in amateur radio. It is important to have the feed line at right angles to the antenna for at least a quarter wavelength to prevent current imbalance in the feed line caused by pickup of RF from the antenna. Feed line length should not be exact quarter wavelength or even multiples of it. Double extended SEP has multiband capability when used with an antenna tuner. A 40 meter double extended SEP behaves as a dipole on 80 meter and like a long wire antenna on higher frequency bands.